Okay, so this is the part 2 of our criminological research review. And we will tackle in this video the basic statistical tools and the prelim question with high difficulty index. So let us start with statistical tools and we'll be discussing here the mean, the median, and the percentage. So let's start with median. Median can be used to determine approximate average or mean, but it's not to confuse with the actual mean. If there is an odd number of the numbers, the median value is the number that is in the middle. Okay? If the uh, add, if that's an odd number, with the same amount of numbers below and above. So, for example, um, this one, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Well, obviously, the median here is number 4 because uh, it's in the middle. Median is in the middle. Okay? And there is um, odd numbers and equal distribution. But if it is um, even numbers, like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, well, the median here is between 3 and 4. So, it will be 3.5. Okay, that will be 3.5. So, that's uh, how to get a median. So, how would we apply median? No? You are the head of city traffic office and you want to know the approximate volume of motorcycle that passes along the national highway in a given time. In your 5-day survey, you gathered the following information. Day 1, there were 22 motorcycles who passed in that area. Day 2, 28. Day 3, 24. Day 4, 26. And day 5 is 20. So you want to get the approximate volume of motorcycle per day. Okay, the average. So here you can find, find the median in order to determine the approximate volume of motorcycle. So simply, you just arrange the value. 20 from less to greater. Uh, 20, 22, 24, 26, 28. Okay? Since it is odd number, we just get the middle number, which is 24. And that is the median. That's easy. No, that's easy. Median. Okay? Now, another statistical tool is percentage. And this is quite easy if you have only 100 respondents. You are conducting study entitled Crime Victim Institutions or Bay in Wano City. The data you gathered are as follows. Find the percentage of the unreported cybercrime cases. Remember, there are only 100 respondents, so it's very easy. Okay? Because if you if you want to get the percentage, you just divide. No? Uh, the number divided by 100, then that uh, then uh, you remove the this uh, you uh, erase the decimal to the two digit, then that's the percentage. But if it is a uh, whole number, it's very easy. So, for example, find the percentage of unreported cybercrime cases. Cybercrime, uh, not reported or unreported. So, what's 20? 20 over 100. So, what is the percentage of unreported cybercrime cases? Okay? The answer here would be 20. This one. The answer is 20%. Because uh, 20... Over 100 is 20 percent. Okay, that's easy. Unreported, but the question is, fiscal injuries reported. That's 10 percent. Okay, total theft cases, both reported and unreported, that's 50 percent. That's how you get the percentage. Now, statistical tool, weighted mean. This is quite um, weighted mean is quite confusing or. Um, um, hard to, but it, um, if you just follow the rules, it's easy, no? For example, Mr. A is a graduating student and is now writing his thesis. His study entitled, The Level of Awareness of High School Students of Cyber Crimes in Wano Country. After plotting his questionnaire, he gathered the following data for item number 5, Level of Awareness on Cyber, Online Libel, Online Libel. So this is only for item number 5, that's Online Libel. So, in the questionnaire, you have the very much aware, much aware, aware, slightly aware, not aware. And the weighted value there is 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And the frequency, we say there are 5 students who said that they are very much aware of online libel. There were 10 students who said that they were much aware of online libel. 
There were 10 students who said that they are aware on online libel. 15 students said that they are slightly aware on online libel. And 10 students said they are not aware of um, online libel. And there were 50 students all in all. So, what is the mean? No? How would you commit the mean? Uh, you just carry the table. Then you divide the weighted value and the frequency. 5 times 5 is 25. 4 times 10 is 40. 3 times 10 is 30. 2 times 15 is 30. 1 times 10 is 10. Then you add this one. Add all uh, the result of your multiplication. That's 135. Then you divide 135 over 50, the frequency, the total number uh, of your respondents. Then that is your weighted mean, 2.7. 2.7, okay, for this problem. Now, based on your answer, what will be your interpretation on the label of our response on item 5? Now, you need to get the range and the interpretation. If the range of the weighted mean is 1.0 to 1.8, that's not aware. If it is 1.81 to 2.60, that's slightly aware. If 2.61 to 3.40, that's aware. 3.41 to 4.20, much aware. 4.21 to 5.0 is very much aware. Now, what was our answer before? Our answer before is 2.7. 2.7 weighted mean. And where does 2.7 belong? 2.7 belong here. 2.6 to 3.4. So, the interpretation will be aware. That will be the interpretation. And the answer will be aware. This is the answer. Now, Senator B wants to know the stand of Filipino people on legalizing divorce in the Philippines. He formed a team in order to conduct a survey on the opinion of the public on the proposed law. After conducting a survey to 2,000 respondents, they have gathered the following data. <clears throat> so, he wants to know the, uh, the, the opinion of the people on divorce law, no? Uh, strongly agree, agree, and decided, disagree, strongly disagree. So the weighted value is 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And there are 600 respondents said that they, are, they strongly agree on divorce. Four, uh, 500 said they agree on it. 300 they are undecided. Disagree. Uh, 3, uh, 300, and strongly agree. They added to a total of 2. Thousand respondents. Then find the weighted mean. Well, the same. But weighted value times frequency. Five times six hundred is three thousand. Four times five hundred is two thousand. Three times three hundred is nine hundred. Two times three hundred is six hundred. One times three hundred is three hundred. If you're going to add this one, the result of the multiplication, it's to six thousand eight hundred. Then, in order to find the mean, you want to find the mean, you need to divide 6,800 6, divided by 2,000 is 3.4. This is the mean, 3.4. Okay? Now, based on your answer, what will be your interpretation on the opinion of the Filipino legalizing divorce in the Philippines? So, 3.4. So, what is um, the, uh, the interpretation? The weighted mean is 3.4. Okay? And this is the range. The interpretation, uh, where does 3.4 belong? 3.4 belong here. It is undecided. So the answer will be undecided. Okay, undecided. Now, police captain, uh, this is, so this is now the prelim question with any difficulty index. No? Police captain S conducted crime victimization survey within his area of responsibility. He noticed a certain barangay as the highest number of cases, so there is a one barangay with the highest number of cases of theft, homicide, and physical injuries. Which of the following should he do? Now, since he already identified the barangay with the highest number of cases of theft, homicide, and physical injuries, then he can conduct explore, explanatory research in order to look in the for, for causes and reasons of committing the crime. What's the reason? Why, why is it there is high cases of theft, homicide, and physical injuries in that area, in that barangay? So, the proper way is to conduct explanatory research. 
you have identified the barangay with most number of drug related cases so you have identified the barangay with drug related cases in your area of specialty as chief of police you want to identify patrol operation through program neighborhood watch so you want to you you launch a program neighborhood watch you want to know the effectiveness of your program Remember, no, the purpose is to find the effectiveness program. Which type of research are you going to conduct? And that will be ca causal comparative research. Why, why causal comparative? You need to, to know um, what was the situation before the neighborhood watch and after the neighborhood watch. And that is causal comparative. You want to know the effectiveness of this program, the neighborhood watch. So you need to conduct ca causal comparative research. Professor J is conducting sociological study on identified uh, study of identified the speech varieties learned and used by Maranao school children in their homes, community and school and the madrasa. Which research method you should use? No, you want to identify the speech varieties learned and used in Maranao school. That's, that's the purpose. Now, if your respondent is usually um cultural minority group or if ethnic group then the best way is to conduct ethnography because it involves the study of cultural minority or okay, ethnography you use ethnography well the Visconti mas uh, murder case was the multiple homicide mem members of the Visconti family on June 31 at their residence in BF homes Paranaque City fortunately the suspect was arrested and were tried in court in became one of the most sensational cases in the Philippines being described as trial of the century. Now, if you're going to conduct digital, take note, huh? conduct digital storytelling of the case. Digital storytelling of the case. Which research method is most appropriate? If there is digital storytelling, the most appropriate is narrative. Narrative, because it will explore the life of victims and suspects and narrate its stories. Okay, I think that's it. Thank you, and again, once again, good luck in your midterm exam.